Good morning, y'all. It's Martha here. Um, I thought I would come on today and share with you. I've been fooling around. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this. Um, with some scrapbook paper this morning, I was trying to make a few projects for uh, my Cupid's arrow swap coming up and uh, another swap. So I was just uh, playing. I don't know if I'll use these or not, but I thought there might be some people out there that would want to learn how to make these. They're simple, they're easy, they're fun, and you can make them any size you want to. But my size was determined by, I had all a whole stack of this paper scraps from a project I did a long time ago. And I kind of, the paper's too nice just to throw away. So I've been wanting to use that and that's what determined the size of my um, notebooks. So this paper is, it's six and a half inches long and it's five and a quarter tall. So let me show you what I did. I just folded it in half like this. So this is probably for beginners. I don't know if I said that because a lot of my subscribers probably know how to do this already. It's just easy and fun. So what I did, I folded six to make one signature. And I'm gonna show you how to do it two different ways. So this is just the extra when I need it. So what I did was, let me tell you what I do with them. Um, okay, I've already cut my papers and I cut them so that they would fit around the folded paper. And uh, see, these are the two I've already done. I did them two different ways and I will show you. But the paper turned out to be I gave myself plenty of uh, on the side, so it's seven and a half by six. So what we're gonna do with those, let me just choose, well, let's do two different colors. I ran out of that pretty, um, I ran out of this pretty butterfly paper. All I have is a few little scraps. But anyway, you just, Fold these in half as well. Well, that's not a very good folding job and I don't even know if I'm in camera or not. But anyway, I just folded these papers in half and then I am doing the same. And if you wanted to use a scoreboard, you could. And then I'm gonna fold this one in half. I think my um, guillotine cutter is just a little bit, the blade's just a little bit bent because sometimes things come out crooked when they shouldn't, but I'm dealing with it. Okay, so now here's my signature. You can see how that it will fit around. You have plenty of room around the sides and the top. And you could cut a little bit more off on the top and the bottom if you wanted to. But um, I'll show you why I wanted the, a little bit of space around the sides. So what I like to do is I like to round the corners. And I'll just use this, uh, what's it called? Crocodile corner rounder. And don't worry if it's off a little bit, it is handmade. We are not machines. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same for the cover. Oh. 
Now what I'll show you the well they're both easy but this is even easier. Um, you can take and staple it together like it's small enough that you can just slide your stapler right in there. And this is a really good way to use up um, old scrapbook paper from your stash. So there we go. Now let me show you, since it's a little bit alligator mouth, I used these little Velcro dots. I got these on Amazon and they're, they are really tiny. I think they're about five eighths of an inch, something like that. But what I did was just went ahead and put so this is why I wanted some extra room on the side. And then put the matching one. I like to put it right I like to put it right on top. Now these are pretty sticky. I didn't add extra glue to those and then just rub it in. And there you got your closure. Now, I think this is a great project, like for, you could put something in, use it for your purse or anything like that. Now, let me show you. I made some little cards to do some pockets on the inside. So that makes it handy to put in your purse. You could, if you still write your grocery list, you can write your grocery list. You can write some notes. You can probably even add more pages. I just chose six. And these, incidentally, are about the size of a playing card, which is um, two and a half by three and a half. So see it fits right in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and round the corners of these two on the bottom just so that it will fit in there nice and neat. And then I'm gonna use this hole punch to make just a little notch. Just so things will slide in and out easier. Okay, now I'm just going to add some art glitter glue on the edges all around the edges you can leave this on your in your purse on your workspace wherever you want to keep up with little notes and little things Oh, I got that a little crooked, didn't I? Rubbing it too hard. There we go. And you could make a stack of these. I've done that before. You could make a stack and put a bit like a stack of maybe three to five and um, wrap a bit uh, put a belly band around them and then give them for a little gift I think that's a lot of fun to do so I'll just go ahead and finish this one up well it's almost done There you go. Now let me find a little piece of paper. A little tiny piece. So you can see it just slides right in there. There 
there you go. So you've got pocket on each page on the back and the front for your receipts or whatever you want to keep. You've got your notes for your grocery list or whatever, and you can embellish it. It looks really pretty with double-sided paper too, but I didn't have any that I wanted to use today for that. And then it closes really neat. And then you can embellish the outside if you want, or the inside. You can embellish the pages. So let me show you uh, another one. So this one, what I did for it, let's go ahead and round the corners. This is not a necessary step. I just like it. So I think I'll choose that as my front. So what you do here is um, punch yourself two holes. And I'm going to do it this way so I can try to make sure I'm getting that hole right in the middle there. But if it's a little off, that's okay too. Okay. This is the perfect size to like to use your staple or, or your hole punch. So you don't have to. Well, but I should probably have um, put a little clip on it, but Live and you learn, okay. There we go. Now, I just have this uh, cord I got from Michaels. I think it's hemp cord. And I just give myself one, two, three links. So I'll have, I'll have leftover probably, but better to have too much or then not enough. So you just kind of poke it through these holes. Then you poke this one through this way. I think this is uh, really cute with the bow. You could add a few beads if you wanted to. You could really fancy this up if you wanted to. All right. Then you just tie yourself a couple of knots. And I like to tie mine in a bow. And then I will tie the loops. I guess that's called double knot. I don't know. So, I used up all of my string. I don't even need to cut it off. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the dots again. I'm going to go ahead and put one right there. And then we'll put one right on top. Well, if I can get it peeled off of there. Just close it and I'll let that sit a minute and I'll go ahead and get the pockets ready. Size of a playing card two and a half by three and a half for these particular measurements. Um, okay, let's go ahead and I like to round the corners on the bottom and then I'll put a couple of notches. I'm going to do these two at the same time. Get them lined up here. Okay. There you go. Alright. Get 
looking cute so far. Do this the same way, go all around the edges. Oops, I'm getting losing my grip here today. <laughs> not as neat as oh, I can't even talk either. It's not as neat as it could be. All right, there we go. We ha isn't that cute? it open. I've got a bunch of embellishments over here. Let me see if I can find a cute one. That's not bad. Um, I don't really know if I got anything over here that will look good. If you can dream it, you can do it. That might look good. And I have this piece of paper here. It might be too bright of a green, huh? Anyway, I'm just going to tack it down there. I like it. decoration there you have it and we have this this kind where it's just stapled and let me show you these were my prototypes I did those first and figured out my problems see this one's double-sided and I did not put a pocket in these but I do have some here for one of them, or we can do one in each. But I think this paper is pretty enough. It really doesn't need much embellishment. one pocket and then we'll just put one pocket in this one and I may have some more scraps of this I can do it later if I decide to there you have it four of very cute little journals well notebooks I would say very cute, very handy. And if you wanted to give them as a gift, let me see if I have a piece of um, scrap paper handy. So this is about, what did I say it was? It is seven and a half, the cover length. So I think we need to make it about Now these don't really look good together, the colors, but you know, they're fun. And I'm just showing you an example so you could, so 
so eight and a half is not quite long enough. So let's try. all of them together but I will do this let's see if this is long enough it's just gonna depend on how many you're putting together I guess there we go that one would work and I'm gonna do it with this pretty color these colors together. It'd probably look better. Let's put this this way. So I like it better with that. But you could put some jimmies around there. You could decorate to your heart's content. But there you go. There are my simple little notebooks using scraps. Well, the paper was mainly scraps, and then I just worked around it. All right, y'all. If you're still here, I appreciate you watching, and I'll be seeing y'all again soon. Bye now.